to another episode of Madras Arsenal. Today, we're going to be talking about the World War I trench whistle. So let's get started. Okay, so this whistle came is an uh, exact reproduction. came from uh, England. It is uh, stamped with the War Department symbol as well as the date 1916. Uh, these would have been issued to uh, troops during World War II, uh, specifically officers, probably your uh, higher-end NCOs. And uh, it was basically a way to signal to the troops, um, you know, that they were about to advance. Uh, it's probably the most iconic part of uh, World War One history because of Hollywood. Um, it seems like whenever you watch a World War One movie, about probably one in every two people <laughs> have a whistle and they're blowing it as they uh, go over the top. But the reality is it's probably just for your uh, higher-end NCOs as well as your uh, officers. But uh, it's basically a copy of the uh, British police whistle. Um, <clears throat> But it uh, apparently became, I don't know if it was a standard issue with the British troops during that time. But like I said, you know, the Americans adopted it pretty well, as well as a regular whistle um, that you would see uh, basically like uh, refs, you know, like the American whistle. You'd see it. And uh, it would be on a lanyard, and it would connect uh, from your lapel up here down to your pocket. And, uh, but it's a pretty cool piece of history, and uh, something I wanted for my kit especially down here uh, doing living history events because uh, not a lot of people know about World War I in this area uh, but it's pretty rich. Um, I just found out that Fountain City over in Knoxville had a camp um, which is pretty cool so maybe one day we can uh, figure out exactly where that was and uh, do a little event there. But uh, pretty simple uh, design. It's basically a tube. It's got uh, some perforations on the inside and the airflow makes it a very distinct sound. So, there's that. Really, really cool piece of history. But uh, you can get these from England for a couple of bucks. It's definitely worth it. And uh, I would suggest picking one up for your kit. Uh, it's probably one of the best things that you could give a demo to the public. And uh, because they're probably going to be pretty familiar with it once they hear it. Um, everybody's seen Sergeant York. A lot of people have seen uh, War Horse. So they're going to be very familiar with the sound. It's a way to connect the public to the era. And uh, you can kind of engage with them a little bit better that way. So anyway, uh, that's the World War One Trench Whistle. And I thought you guys would enjoy it. Uh, so here we go again. Pretty cool. Also, probably make a pretty nifty little survival uh, kit piece and, uh, you know, fit in your pocket, attach it to your key ring. It's got a nice little loop right there. So, in case you ever get stranded out in the woods for whatever reason, uh, you know, you've got a good signal right there. So, but anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. I know this was kind of a short video, but it was uh, pretty neat. I don't think anybody's really ever done a video on the World War One trench whistle, but, uh, yeah, so appreciate you guys watching and see you guys here shortly.